Most people, you hope you can get a raise by doing a good job at work. But should the same kind of thinking apply when your son or your daughter brings home good grades? We're getting so much feedback on this discussion, and we would like to hear your opinion on our Facebook page. But before you express your thoughts, News 4's Jacqueline Ortiz looked into it and lays out the pros and cons of money for good grades. That's new at 6. He did receive the presidential education. Without a doubt, Cassandra Pena says paying her three boys for their A's is something that's working out for her and for them. She has a son in sixth, fourth, and third grades, and they've never brought home anything but A's and B's. If they get all A's, they do get $20. Dr. John Beach, a local family psychologist, says there's no right or wrong way, but there are consequences to consider. When we set a plan in place, it's likely that they're going to expect that plan to continue for a long time. Recent research out found money for grades is sometimes more helpful for boys than girls. Dr. Beach says, know your child. I would encourage parents to, number one, figure out with each of their kids what tends to be the best motivator. He also suggests a different alternative than money, saying sometimes children don't remember what they bought with the money, so instead... The best option, I believe, would be to give kids incentive to earn things like quality time with the family, having an outing that they might build up a certain number of points. A on a roll. Meanwhile, Cassandra says she's sticking with what works for her, hoping all the money now will make a huge difference later on. Down the line, you know, hopefully it'll be lead to scholarships and, you know, all this other great stuff to where it'll be less expensive college-wise <laughs> and more expensive now. Now let's hear from you. Go to our News for San Antonio Facebook page and tell us what you think about money for good grades. Jacqueline Ortiz, News 4 San Antonio.